was the luckiest college intern that you can imagine because I started there as a college intern. Yeah, so I was beyond fortunate. Oh, who knows? <laughs> who can remember? Um, but as far as this evening goes, this has been a remarkable night for everybody. But it's the most important thing is that um, it's a great gift to Paraquad Kelly, who's suffering from MS, and his wife, Melody Rogers, and to see the affection and everybody from the community come out to give him that boost, that morale boost, it's a real boost for him and both of them because it's a tough thing they've been dealing with. And so it's nice that we can like put the, like putting the bat signal in the sky, you know, you put the KMET, like, come on you guys, we got to rally around Paraquat and people come through and I love that. Well, it's not only a reunion of the people on the air, but look at all the people here tonight. And I we miss we miss Freeform Radio. We miss. Well, I think I think what's nice is KMET. Uh, we were very lucky to be able to create the relationships with the listeners. So it's just a nice, large, extended family. So when people hear, you know, hey, Paraquat needs some help, it's like helping a brother you know and so that's a good feeling well I grew up out here uh, from 1968 to uh, present day so I grew up listening to him out here man and anything I could do for that man be a, be a, if I can tell uh, us about your memories of listening to KMT what that meant to rock and roll well it was a large part of everything I did and uh, you know Warren and I spent a lot of time on KMT as Keith Olson and I did when I first got here made my own uh, Trying, uh, trying to get a, a record out, and Keith and I went down to KMET and we're speaking, talking to the guys down there, trying to get it played on the radio, and you know, just a lot of great memories, man. It's fantastic. I miss it, still miss it terribly. Sure. I mean, what, what's your greatest memory about the fact that radio really broke artists and re really programmed what they wanted to? Well, that was the whole deal, man. That was the entire, you know, the, the thrill of all of a sudden, oh my God, there's our, there's our record on the radio, you know. Still, I, I would imagine, would have the same effect today, but back then, man, that's what you lived for. You know? sure. that, that was the whole bit, man. And, uh, playing with Warren and, and Keith Richards and Linda and everybody, what, what's, you know, what's the greatest memory or advice you give to that young player today? To uh, keep practicing, man. Don't give up. Learn to take no as, a, as an indication of uh, a reason to keep on going. You know, don't let the word no stop you, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And what's the greatest lesson you learned from Keith Richard? I don't know about that one, man. <laughs> I learned a lot from Keith. I hope he learned a little from me, but uh, again, you know, don't take no for an answer, you know.
Thank you.